In the heat of the summer, we're going to keep this 2012 Mustang GT cool for track events with these goodies from Ford Performance Parts. This afternoon, we're going to install Ford Performance Parts Boss 302S aluminum radiator, the Boss 302 oil cooler, Boss 302S front grille, and the Boss 302 manual transmission cooler scoop. To show you how easy this is, we're installing all these parts on this 2012 Mustang GT in a driveway on jack stands. Note how we put the wheels and tires under the car so that if it ever fell, it falls on the wheels and not on us. The Boss 302S radiator is a really nice piece. It offers a huge increase in cooling capacity over the factory radiator. Even though it's a hand fabricated race part, it includes all the fittings and mounts for factory air conditioning and transmission and power steering coolers if your car is so equipped. The Boss 302S front grille is all business. The backside is milled to open up additional cooling area over the factory Boss 302 grille. And the fog lights are replaced with coarse wire mesh to feed the radiator and cold air intake with more cooling air. The Boss 302 manual transmission cooling air scoop is simple but effective. It scoops up air from under the Mustang and directs it between the transmission's cooling fins. The Boss 302 oil cooler is an elegant, effective way to keep oil temperature down. It's a liquid-to-liquid -liquid cooler that sandwiches between the oil filter and the engine block. It uses an FL820 high-performance oil filter. The oil cooler taps into the included lower radiator hose that splits the flow between the engine and the oil cooler. All the hoses are quick connect couplers to make installing this kit a breeze. Before getting started, we disconnected the negative battery terminal from the battery. Then we removed the lower radiator air deflector panel and swung the engine under tray down and out of the way. Next, we drain the oil. We loosened the radiator drain plug and emptied the cooling system. Catch the coolant in a clean container if you're going to reuse it. Next, we pried up on the center of the pushpin fasteners to remove them from the radiator cover. With all the pushpin fasteners removed, we pulled off the radiator cover. Then we remove the air intake tube and the cold air filter box. After disconnecting the hoses, we removed the coolant reservoir. The cold air intake duct also came out. The factory hose clamps have a tang that holds them open so you can pull the hose off more easily. We did the same thing for the lower radiator hose. Next, we remove the upper radiator mounts. After carefully freeing the front grille from the bumper cover, we disconnected the fog lights and removed the grille. With the grill removed, we could easily access the fasteners holding the air conditioning condenser to the factory radiator. To gain some much needed working room, we removed the reservoir line and upper radiator hose from the thermostat housing. Thankfully, Ford uses this convenient coupling that makes this job easy. With everything disconnected, we remove the radiator and fan as an assembly. It's easy to see why the Boss 302S radiator on the right offers a huge increase in cooling capacity. Look at how much thicker the Boss 302S radiator is compared to the factory part. We prepped the Boss 302 radiator by transferring the nut clips 
and installing the Boss 302 oil cooler kit's lower radiator hose to the new radiator. Back under the car, we remove the oil filter. This oil filter threaded fitting that comes with the Boss 302S oil cooler kit has an internal hex that you need a 14 millimeter long shank impact socket to reach. We used the 14 millimeter hex impact socket to remove the factory oil filter threaded fitting from the engine block. Before installing the Boss 302 oil cooler, we connected the hose bundle to the oil cooler. These quick connect couplers make life so easy. Next, we installed the Boss 302 oil cooler to the engine block using the supplied fitting. We left it loose for now. Then we carefully slid the Boss 302S radiator into the engine compartment. With the radiator in place, we connected the lower radiator hose to the thermostat housing and connected the oil cooler fittings to the hose. Note the coupler with the dot corresponds to the dot on the hose. Did I mention how much I really like these fittings? These studs that were on the factory radiator were too long to get back in, so we used some M6 by 1.0 by 20 millimeter long bolts instead. Next, we installed the electric fan. With the fan installed, we reconnected the upper radiator hose. Then we torqued the oil filter fitting to 43 foot-pounds. With the FL820 filter filled with oil, we installed it on the oil cooler. Next, we reinstalled the coolant reservoir and the hoses. The Boss 302S front grille simply snaps into place. Because the Boss 302S radiator is a lot thicker than the stocker, this tab on the cold air feed duct didn't line up anymore, so we just cut it off. After reinstalling the cold air box and intake tube, we reinstalled the upper radiator cover using the factory push pin fasteners. The last part to install was the Boss 302 manual transmission cooling scoop. It just replaces the factory chassis brace under the transmission. With everything installed, we filled the crankcase with 8 quarts of 5W50 synthetic motor oil. After filling the cooling system with fresh coolant, we started the engine and topped off the reservoir. Note that we used a 50-50 mixture of concentrated coolant and distilled water. After the engine warmed up a little, we topped it off again. That's it. This 2012 Mustang GT is ready for its next hot summer track day.